anyways, um, this is my new coil gun. Well, it's not not completed yet. I'm waiting on new parts coming on Tuesday. Uh, well, more parts. It's a four-stage optical bridge triggered coil gun. It uses uh, roughly around 500. Well, it's I'm giving it 500 watts to work with. It'll probably use only like 20 watts, maybe a bit less. Um, I'm going to be pulsing it at about 20 times a second to uh, get the jack belt speed. Um, I'm going to be using MOSFETs and resistors to control the current flow. Uh, the MOSFETs aren't here yet. Um, you might be asking why I've got this wee microphone on this here inductor. This inductor is to stop it shorting my power supply, which is a PC power supply. And uh, an inductor has to handle over 22 amps at any given time. I've also got another fan there to blow air over the MOSFETs. I'm going to have a heat sink on them to cool them. Uh, but uh, this little fan is just to cool out their inductor down. And there, I have this wee uh, Xenon lamp. That there is to tell me whether or not this here is giving massive voltage spikes. So I can, uh, just for test, you know. And then um, these LEDs. Each one of these will be triggered when the gate of a MOSFET is triggered. So, uh, how it works, basically, you put the jack dial here, it'll be sitting here, I, most people just leave the coils on, I can't because it'll overheat and melt the tube, I'm not using carbon fiber, I'm using a 15mm PVC piping for washing machines, couldn't get anything else. Um, so what I do is I'll have two switches, one for the 5 volt rail and one for the 12 volt rail, 12 volt rail will be straight to the coils, 5 straight to the triggering system. Um, I have photo diodes on one end and infrared diodes on the other end as a light barrier the photo diodes will you know the the leds will be continuously on and that'll cause the photo diodes to keep the transistors continuously on which will keep each coil on at the same time then the projectile will get uh, sucked into the middle of this coil you know because of the magnetism um but because it goes at such a high velocity towards the middle it'll just have enough energy to break past the middle and poke out the other end and that'll trigger this gate to turn off that coil if it didn't the projectile would just get sucked back into the same coil but because it's turned off it allows the projectile to get sucked into the next one and then light barrier turns that one off and onto the next one and then onto the next one and then eventually straight out the barrel and um, when I'm using the 16 gauge copper wire um, I don't know how many turns there is here but I know I've done it four high, four high by about 15 turns. So uh, for them, I'm gonna have some uh, M10, 10 amp, 1000 volt rectifier diodes between here and here to kill the uh, continuous current, well, leftover current after I've turned off the coils, but uh, so it doesn't pop the MOSFETs. The MOSFETs would pop because of it. Um, but yeah, it's it's pretty simple. I mean, all the light barriers do is the optic sensors just keep the MOSFETs continuously on. Um, I will be releasing a video on this thing firing probably next week. Whenever I get the MOSFETs, light barriers, and diodes back, or when I get them full stop. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool looking. You can probably see down the barrel. It's pretty straight, smooth bore. Be firing uh, 10 mil slugs out of it. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Cheerio.